Today, we're gonna talk about my top four hairstyles for winter weather. Hey guys, welcome back to Living with J&M. Like I said in the intro, today I'm gonna to talk about my top four hairstyles I like to wear during the winter. The reason I wanna show you this video is a couple video uploads ago, we showed you the top 10 things that we wish we would've known before we moved to Colorado. But in that video, I discussed how dry it is here, which creates tons of static electricity. My hair is long and it is pinned straight, which means anytime I take off a jacket, anytime I sit in a chair, anytime I take off a hat, my hair is going like and it sticks up everywhere. So I've had to find these hacks and these little hairstyles that I can do very fast and not have to worry about my hair going everywhere all the time. So here are a few hairstyles that I love to wear during the winter that I hope can help you out. Hey guys, so this first thing I wanna tell you about is this Kendra Platinum Texturing Taffy. This is great to get all the static electricity out of your hair whenever you're doing a certain hairdo. I just put a little bit on my fingers, it does not take much, and then I run it through my hair. You'll feel a huge difference whenever you put this in. You won't have static electricity for a couple hours and it re will really help you guys um, keep your hair flatter. So this first hairstyle, we're going to be doing a sock bun. So what I do to make a DIY hack for this is instead of buying the store-bought sponges that you can see, I actually got a clean sock and I cut the end off where the toes are. You can see that there's a hole there. And then I just sit there and start at the toe end and I wrap it and wrap it and wrap it. I found that the tube sock works best because the end of that sock makes it really tight. So as you can see, it looks a lot like a donut. There's a perfect hole in it. So this is gonna be where I put my hair through. So I start with flipping my head upside down and I want to get that ponytail on the most top of my head as I can because this bun looks a lot cuter when it's more on the top than it is on the back. So as you can see whenever I lean down a bit that there's an arch on both sides of my ponytail. This is a really good indication for me that my ponytail is as high as I want it to be. Now after I have my ponytail up, I'm gonna get my donut and I'm gonna put my hair in the middle of that sock. As you can see, my hair is all one length, so this is pretty easy for me. So I put that donut in the middle and then I bring it all the way down to the end. And as you can see, I'm getting my ends and I'm sticking them inside that center hole. Now this is really going to help you at the end goal to have all the ends in there now because later that means they won't be sticking out. As you can see, my thumbs are pushing my hair inside and I'm twisting out. This is going to make it thicker and thicker so that whenever it gets to the top of my head, all my hair is inside of that sock. Right now it looks like a bee's nest, but with a little bit of shuffling it's going to look great. So now I have it to the top of my head and honestly it fits on there pretty well and it's really tight. And so I'm just going to go and I'm going to adjust all the pieces that I think look odd, that look weird. I'm going to move hair around and as I pointed to, you can see in the back I have some loose pieces. So I'm just going to get my thumb and I'm going to try to grab the end of that and stick it up in the sock just like I did at the very beginning. But now it's on the top of my head. So this piece is actually being kind of difficult in the back. So plan B that I do if it does not stick up in the sock is that I'm going to grab a bobby pin and grab the bobby pin and make it go in under and grab that hair and be pushed up under the sock and you can feel whenever you push that bobby pin up there that it's going to be really latched. Also, I want to point out my lovely baby hairs. There is nothing wrong with the little details of baby hairs. I think they're super cute, and I think with a sock bun like this, it can make it look super casual or really fancy. I just love it. I also want to point out what type of hairspray I use. I love Cheese Helmet Head. What I love is that I have naturally straight long hair so I am going to have to have some hairspray when it comes to holding things and this hairspray not only does it work well but it smells so good. Okay a super easy way to make this even more fun or match your outfit more is I love to put a headband on and actually when I stretched it over my head it made a weird cracking sound I thought I broke it. 
but I love headbands. I am obsessed with them. I have tons and tons of them, but I just thought this headband made this look completely different than without it. I like it with the headband and without, but I just love how that looks. So now for the second look, I'm going to call it the Elsa braid. This is something that I just started very recently doing. I have not done this very often, but whenever I did it, I loved how it looked and I love how it made my hair feel, especially having long hair that works really well. I just recently saw a girl, she had pretty short hair and she was able to do the same thing and it looked adorable on her. So I'm going to start with grabbing a chunk of my hair in the very front, usually on the side that I part my hair on. As you can see, I'm sectioning off that chunk that I grabbed into three sections. I'm actually going to Dutch braid, not French braid, but Dutch braid whenever the braid is sticking out of the hair and not twined into the hair. And I'm going to Dutch braid all the way down my head. So just a quick definition of a Dutch braid, it's the reverse of a French braid. The technique is the same, except that instead of bringing section of your braid over and into the center, you're bringing them under. So that's what I'm doing here. I pulled all my hair over onto one side. And so in the front, I'm grabbing a piece from the very front of my hair. And in the back braid, I'm grabbing a pieces of my back hair. That's what's making the braid thicker and thicker is the thicker pieces coming from the back. So I just grab it and I'm going to keep going until I get all my hair all the way down so that I can finish off the braid. A little fun fact about me is that one of my bucket list items is that I was going to French braid my hair in France. And so last year, John took me to Paris, France for, I believe it was right before Christmas, and I French braided my hair in France. And so that was a bucket list item I had, and I was able to do it. So now I think this is really where it starts becoming Elsa, but I have these little rubber bands that I get from Walmart, the clear ones. I think they work really well. So I braided all the way to the bottom and I looked at it and I loved it, but I thought that it was just a little bit thinner than I wanted. So I'm going to go in and pull apart the braid so that it's thicker and fuller. I kind of describe it as a flower, but it's going to look more pulled apart and more like a flower by the end of it and just makes it look more whimsical. I love the way it turns out. This braid is a great way for your hair not to have static electricity. It completely pulls it out of your face and puts it in the braid. Afterwards, I threw on some hairspray. Not really necessary, but for me, hairspray always helps keep the static electricity down. Turn away and slam the door. I don't care what they're going to say. Let the storm rage on. So I've had this curler for years, but I use a Chi Orbit. It's an inch wand and it works really great for my long hair. So the first thing I do when it comes to curling my hair is I'm going to center part it and then I'm going to start, for me, I always start on my left side. It does not make any difference, but I curl, as you can see, every hair away from my face. This is just going to give me a really nice flow with my long hair. So after I curl it, I usually let it sit in my hand for just a couple seconds so it can cool off and that makes my curl last a little bit longer. This is great for winter hair for myself because whenever I curl my hair, it just allows it to stay not as staticky. I found that if it's curled versus if it's straight, there's a lot less static and I think it has a lot to do with the hairspray in my hair, but this is just a fun little hairstyle that I like to do. So this hairstyle is a half up, half down that I do quite often, or I do half up, half downs all the time because I like the hair out of my face. 
But what I'm going to do is tease the crown of my head. So I do not have a tease comb. I do not have anything specific. I just use a normal comb. And then I'm going to go through and brush that hair back on top of the tease and then bobby pin it to the back of my head. Now like I have with everything else, I use a little bit of hairspray just to make it stay there. And so now I'm going to start with the braid that um, I'm going to do around the crown. So this time I'm only going to have two pieces of hair, not three. And it's not going to be a French braid or anything. I don't even know what this is called necessarily. But I get two pieces of hair and just like a French braid, every time I grab or I twist it around, I grab a new piece. So I'm making this French twist <laughs> I don't know what it's called but I love it it's something I really like to do that gets the hair on my face but still gives me some detail inside of my head and as you can see I'm going to braid that all the way back to the back of my head and then I'm going to bobby pin it back with those other bobby pins that held back my crown with my tees I think this is great for just going out on a date night or maybe you're just going to go out to work or something but it's super simple, it allows you to have that loose curl, that tease that looks really professional and then the braids back that just make it look like you took your time on it but really it only takes 5 minutes tops after braiding your hair. Okay, so this is one of my go-to looks whenever I'm like, okay, I need something cute, I need something fast, I need something doable, and this can be with curly or straight hair. I prefer it with curly just to give me some sort of volume with my ponytail, because usually with having such straight hair, whenever I have an ponytail, it's usually going to get staticky, and it usually looks pretty flat. And so I put my ponytail on the very top of my head, and then I grab a piece from underneath my ponytail, and I'm going to wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it all the way around until I get to the very end where it's not going to be noticeable. And then I'm going to grab myself a bobby pin and I'm going to stick that loose hair underneath my ponytail. I can feel it. It's usually pretty tight and almost never falls out. And then I just think it looks so cute. You have this natural hair color that's wrapped around and hiding that ponytail. It's perfect to get your hair out of your face and anything just so that you don't have static electricity and you look super cute. Last but not least, this is another go-to I do whenever I want a half up, half down. I love French braiding my hair. And so with this, it's pretty much a half French braid. And I believe I do a Dutch braid with this as well. I honestly, braiding my hair myself, I taught myself how to do a Dutch braid. And I could not figure out how to do a French braid on myself whenever I'm doing the back of my head like this. <laughs> So I'm going to braid all the way until I get to my ears like you can see. And then after that I'm going to pick up all my hair and I'm going to take it to the side. And I'm going to braid it all the way until probably about halfway down. I like the way it looks in the back of my head with some hair down and the braid on top of it. It's just a really pretty look. I necessarily just use this for more casual so that whenever I'm sitting doing school or whenever I'm running errands, this is a great way to keep my hair out of my face and I don't feel ecstatic. As you can see, I had some loose hair so I just took a bobby pin and bobby pinned it back. But I love the result from the back. I think it looks great, almost like a viking or something like that. And the curl, the really loose curl at the end makes it look super adorable. I love how it looks and I just really enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy it too. Thank you so much for taking your time and watching Living with JM. We hope our videos are here to help you and to give you just a little sneak peek into our life. If you haven't already, go down and hit that like and subscribe button. I would love for you to go into the comments and tell me your favorite hairstyles and your favorite ways to keep static electricity out of your hair. We're super excited that we have this YouTube channel for you and we can't wait to see you next time.